Hey guys, I'm Pia Wurzbach and I'm inviting you to go to Bella with me. Welcome to the Vicky Bello YouTube channel. As my special guest today, we have Pia Words back. Hello. And yeah, I'm interviewing her because the last time she was in the house, I couldn't stop laughing. Kumbijante ka pala. Because <laughs> you always come out so natural and, and, and friendly, but I didn't know you were funny. <laughs> Thank you. And the cuento you were making was your journey to the Miss Universe. So although that was in 2015, I want to go back to it because I found the story so funny. I was falling off my chair laughing. So I want them to share the story. So make cuento, because I know previously, you guys had to wear gowns from the bowl. So make yeah. cuento first. Because the story I heard is that you tricked. Oh my gosh, yes, I tricked? I heard you, did you trick Mrs. Araneta. That she's so strict, she makes bantay your luggage. Yeah. Of course, all the girls want to have a new dress. Yeah. And whatever to to show off, mm -hmm. but Mrs. Mm -hmm. Araneta, why does she want to use the dresses from the bowl? These are these old dresses, or um, they're yes, I would how say. How old? Is I that? I don't know how old, but I just know that they are. She really practiced slow fashion. Whatever a girl would use last year or the previous years, it would be recycled again and then used again. Ano so, yun? Good luck sa kanya yun. Parang the the magic commission of Ma Mother Lily. Ganun? I think may ganon din on some pieces, kasi meron earrings na ah alam namin na sinuoto ni Miriam Kimbao so pag yan ang binigay sa yo lucky charm yan mananalo ka so may oh. mga ganun may mga kwento na naka-attach dun sa mga garments sa mga accessories okay. so i think that's also why they had a hard time letting go of some of the old stuff but, but i remember when i was young kasi ako talaga super miss universe philippines fan sabi ko nga yan lang ang contest na binabantayan ko yan lang ang Ang day na nag absent ako from work. Wala work <laughs> sa morning for me. There was a time when all the couturiers of Manila would dress the Miss Universe Philippines yes. contestants. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then it stopped. It so, stopped. Did she have a bad experience or something? I believe so. Oh, okay. I believe that's what happened. I'm not sure of the exact details, but she had. Kasi she's a foreigner, diba? She's oh. Colombian. Like mm -hmm. she doesn't. She's actually the first Miss, Miss International. International. Yes. Okay. Oh. So she's Colombian. She lives here. So maybe at that time, she felt na parang hindi siya sinasama dun sa process of creating the gown and what I just heard that there was a bad experience and that put her off you know dressing the candidates in Filipino designers so first of all challenge siya as a candidate na lalabang ka tapos hindi mo hindi mo mapili kahit yung kulay nung susuotin mo okay so Literally, what would happen is that, kunyari, 40 girls, diba? Tapos may mga numbers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, ganyan. Oh. Kunyari, 1 to 5. Nasa hallway kami, similar to a hallway here in Bello Clinic. So, you're outside. And then, you'll get called one by one. And then, when you come in, nandun na yung gown mo nakasabit na. Yun na yun. Yun, yun na yun. Hindi siya na fit sa or anything. If it fit mo pa lang. Okay. Tapos, si adjust pa lang sa size mo. So, minsan medyo maluwag or mahaba. Tapos, tsaka lang yung alter. Pero, Whatever is there, that's your gown. It was so tricky because what if that's not the color that suits your skin tone, for okay. example? Or oh. you don't look good in that cut. What if a halter isn't for you? Ano ginawa mo? So sabi ka? nila, if you are assigned a white gown, okay. ikaw yung mananalo. Okay. Sabi nila. So we Anong all pray <laughs> the white. <laughs> yung oh. first ko was a light blue gown which mm. I liked I, I liked it the second one was um, an off white so akala ko ay medyo white na to so <laughs> siguro naman medyo favorite na ako ni madam uh, I didn't win that year at oh. all I didn't even make it to top 5 or mm -hmm. top 7 and then the third was black um, so it was like Oh my gosh, mananalo pa ba ako? Parang ano to, raffle ba to? Or siya nag-choose kung para kanino? Siya pumipili. Ah, mm -hmm. so may sign na na type ka pag puti ang gown mo. Yes, but that trend stopped. Kasi for a few years, lahat ng nananalo naka-white eh. Okay. So it was really true. And then it stopped during MJ's time, MJ Lastimosa, where uh -huh. she won in pink. Okay. So we we thought so. Ilan ba mga dress jan na naka baul? There's a lot, doctor. Ay, mga yeah. hundred ganon. Marami. We've never been in that Kasi meron siyang kwarto na nandun lahat and we don't even know how big that room is or how deep that is. 
we're not allowed oh, to naman. go in. So parang we just para siyang Narnia. No. Okay. Narnia. So that's a it's a door and you just know that that's off limits, but that's where all the gowns are. are. Okay. So ngayon ang sa third try mo, which is of course a lesson to everyone. Yeah. Keep trying. Yes. You will win not only Miss Philippines, but Miss Universe. So, what color did you get that? Time? Okay, so I got black, oh. and then I won in that. So na wala na yung trend of white gowns only okay. win. Oh. But then that year, um, Madame was particularly strict with us wearing her gowns because Strictly. somebody tried to. Yeah, to there have me. been previous years or previous oh. experiences where girls would secretly sneak in a Filipino designer or sneak in their personal clothes in their luggage when uh -huh. they compete. Now that I think about it, in retrospect, I felt like it wasn't so much about not letting us wear a Filipino designer. It was more about the betrayal of trust for wow, her. Wow, I think that's so. Malali. Na parang, syempre, it's just so easier if you're honest and ask her, na parang, can I wear this? Instead of sneaky. So, my first decision was then, I would just wear whatever she wanted because I believe so much in karma. That okay. if one person in the audience is unhappy with me, I might lose. Oh, sige. So, sabi ko, sige, ko ano na lang yung ibigay niya sa akin, susuotin ko. But then, I also had this conflict in my head na, but what if I lose because of that? Mm -hmm. What if I only have one chance to get on stage and I don't make an impact because hindi ko sinunod yung nasa mm -hmm. ko. So then I was thinking, okay, if I don't make it, at least I can make an impact by wearing a Filipino designer again, oh. even if I don't win. Mm -hmm. But then I don't want to do it in a sneaky way where she'll forever be upset with me and I'll just be like one of those girls that you betrayed know. her. Yeah. So then what I did was I knew I looked good in blue because I attended an event here in Manila, Red Cross charity gala uh -huh. and I was wearing a blue gown that I borrowed from Albert Andrada and I got so many compliments that night from madams. Uh -huh. So many compliments and I'm sure not all of them are pageant fans so sabi ko, well if they think that I look good in this color, I'm gonna believe it because there's no benefit for them to all bubulahin nila ako. Oh, right. oh. oh, lalo na mga madam ng Manila, nako. Yes. Manalaid so, ka pa. Parang you don't look good in your gown. Kasi so no? when they gave me the thumbs up that that's your color, you should wear this color. I said, okay, I took notes of that. So what I did was I compiled photos of me wearing blue, even in casual clothes. Basta naka-blue lang ako. Mm -hmm. So I made a folder of Lawyer it. Lawyer ka, ha? <laughs> Defense <laughs> Oh, oh, my defense case ako. So, kinumpile ko na yung mga photos niya. Naka-folder siya. Tapos, lumapit ako kay madam. Hinintay ko muna na good mood siya. Ganyan. Lumapit ako sa kanya at sabi ko, Madam, if I may, I'm not saying, like, definitely this is gonna happen, but with your permission, I would like to wear a blue gown. It can be your choice. I would just love it to be blue because I feel the most beautiful and the most confident in blue. So, I just explained to her why. So, then, if she chose from her baul, blue pa rin sana. Para kahit sa color man lang, kapag collab kami. <laughs> <laughs> Kahit na hindi Filipino designer. And then, she took the folder. She oh. didn't say anything. So I wasn't sure if she liked the idea or not. But then at least, para sa akin, nabigay ko na sa kanya and she can think about it. And then I'm also not, hindi ako nagsisisi na, hindi ko tinry. So then, aalis na ako ng, Pilip ng Pilipinas, pupunta na ako ng US, wala pa rin akong gown. Kasi hindi ko alam kung yun ba yung... So hindi ka nagpagawa on the side? No, no, Just in case, wala. Oh. Yeah. Nung nasa US na kami, wala pa rin akong gown. Pa rin. Oh, oh, wala pa rin akong gown. Hindi, oh. pero may dala kang blue gown from the baul. Wala, wala, wala din. Wala talaga. As in, okay. wala akong dala. Oh my God, wala akong dala stress gown. naman yan. Stress. How long ba before a contest do you arrive? Sa akin, three weeks, Doc. So, I arrived December 1, mm -hmm. and then the competition was 2021. 20, and Depending. what clothes are you wearing in those three weeks that you're there? Whatever she would give me. Uh -huh. so, so, all I... of the clothes are provided, by, which is a good thing if you're on a budget and then you don't have a big glam team. Kasi nun, Doc, hindi pa uso yung glam wala team like ba? what it is like, now. You mean in your time, wala kang team? Wala, well, I had a makeup artist that would train me and a hairstylist that would teach me. Oh. But then, I didn't have a stylist then. Okay. And I didn't have connections where I could go to a brand, a, a magazine, really? people, and Kala say, Kala ba once you've been Pilip, Pilipinas, in-naid ka na. Hmm, Everybody wants to dress you. Doc, 
alam mo ba oh. na I ask so many photographers and magazines to feature me. Oh. And ishoot nyo lang oh, ako, isingit nyo lang ako sa shoot nyo. Pupunta ako dyan, naka-makeup na ako, ishoot nyo lang ako. Ako yung lalaban ganyan. Like, I had to pitch myself to people. So then I would have pasabogs oh. before the competition. And honestly, some of them didn't entertain me. Because in a way, why would they? if hindi pa naman sure kung mananalo ka. So, ganito na ang nangyayari. Nandun ka na sa Las Vegas ba? Yeah. Wala ka pang gown. Wala pang gown. O, oh, ilang araw na lang bago mag, ano, mag, yes. magpa-pageant na. Ano And na, mo? suot ko na rin lahat ng nabaong kong damit. So, umuulit-ulit na ako ng damit. So, nag-text na ako sa kanila na, if you guys are coming to watch, can you bring some <laughs> extra clothes? What do you feel ulit, ulit na yung, You know, Doc, at that time, I felt like my wardrobe wasn't as strong as my the Latina, si mga kalaban ko, oh. yung sila Venezuela, Colombia, like definitely not as strong. But then I thought to myself, well, hindi naman to pagandahan ng wardrobe. Mm. Magkakaalaman tayo sa pageant night. Oh yes, <laughs> yun ang naisip ko. <laughs> so, did you feel na medyo favorite ka na ng konte? Ay, wala do. Wala, mm. pinapafeel sa inyo? Wala. Were you dejected? Were you getting stressed? Ano um, mindset mo doon? I was stressed because I would read stuff online. Social media wasn't as vicious then, but it was still hurtful. Like what whenever, did they say? Mas masakit dok pag kababayan mo yung yeah, ayos sa iyo. Oh, mm. and they would, they would put you oh, down. Yeah. And you would still read. Ano ka ba, Pia? Para <laughs> expect more from you. Ako, I don't read. Pag ano na nandito yeah. class talaga ako. Eh, so. Yeah. Mahirap iwasan dok kasi pag you're posting. Also, when you're there alone, tapos nagka event. Mm -hmm. ka na kumalat yung photos mo nakita kanila your Miss Philippines. You also wanna get feedback na okay ba yung suot ko? Did they like that hairstyle? Uh -huh. Did they like that look? So the way for me to get feedback is to read the comments. That's how I know na I'm doing the right thing. That ah ganitong direction ako pupunta. Oh this look isn't working, so I'll go this way. So it was a guide also. So I think it depends on how you filter the comments. If you're gonna take it, if you're gonna let it hurt you talaga and let it you know get into your head or if it's gonna be constructive. So in that way, nakatulong naman. Nakatulong Pero masakit pa. You're really one of these people when they give you lemons, you make it lemonade. So, kailan finally dumating yung gown mo? Dumating yung gown about uh, like halfway through the competition, so a week and a half. And then it was a black and white gown that was, uh, I, I'm not sure of where, where it came from, anong brand. But I remember it being a size bigger. Oh, no. And bitin. Ngayon, nasa hallway kami ng mezzanine ng Planet Hollywood. So, mm. may mga ibang tao doon. Doon ko na sinukat kasi uh, they're so strict where you can't Uber bring your, you can't bring your team with you to your rooms. So, ah. you have to do it sa hallway. And then, punta ka lang sa CR, balit ka, tas labas ka ulit. So, okay. makikita ng mga ibang tao. So, oh. um, sinukat so, na namin siya sa mezzanine. And then, bitin siya dito. So, hinila niya pa baba. Pero dito naman, bumababa dito sa boobs. Oh. So, hinihila ko pataas. Pero nabibiti naman sa baba. So, naghihila kang kaming oh ganun. Oh my God! kami. Tapos nasistress na ako syempre. Kasi parang, oh my gosh, ito na yun. Ilan taon. Tapos, ito! Ito lang! Parang, naiyak ka ba? Oo, naiyak ako. Oh, As in, I dun sa mezzanine oh. mismo. Kahit yun, napipil ko parang sa chan ko. Oh, na, Tapos, ano. alam mo nung time na yun, Dok, Diane Castillejo was right there. Mm -hmm. She saw everything, but oh. I love Diane so much because nothing came out. She never even she told never talked me. about it. There were other people there, but they all kept quiet and they didn't talk oh. about our wardrobe problem. Malfunction yeah. or what? Okay. So then I went back to my room, still no solution to the gown thing. And then I was parang losing hope na rin na parang, okay, I don't know what to do. Like I'm stuck. I don't have a gown. I don't have anything prepared. And then I get a call mm. and it's Madame. Oh, Bago ko matulog nito, and then I pick it up, and then she goes, "Okay, you can wear whatever you want. Oh, yeah. Just make sure you win." Oh my God! Oh my God! Yes, so sabi ko, yes, yes, madam, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Pagbaba ko ng ganon. Kinuwento ko sa roommate ko kasi close naring kami ni Myanmar ni May. Sabi ko sa kanya, Madam, allowed me to wear whatever I want. Tapos appear kami, happy siya for me. Naging friends na rin kasi kami. And then, after that, they went searching for a gown that I could wear for prelims because the blue one wouldn't be ready yet. So I wore Oliver Tolentino for the prelims, oh, which was a red one. from LA, right? Yes, thank Aww. you, Oliver. Saving the day. Pero alam mo, even that gown, Doc, they had to pick it up from LA. So I had one of my best friends drive to LA mm. from Las Vegas, get the gown, Mm -hmm. and then drive back just 
get eight gowns from Oliver eight? Tolentino wow, just for me gowns. to try every gown to see ko ano yung pwede sa akin for prelims. And prelims is also important because if you don't get into prelims, you'll never make it make final. it to finals. So it's just as important. So the blue gown naman do oh. um, didn't arrive until three days before the competition because the flight kept getting delayed. Ah, kalo ka naman because of bagyo. Oh. A typhoon here. Okay. So and that many challenges. So when it arrived, I didn't know what it was gonna look like. Di ko alam yung cut. I just know the color. And uh, who made it? Somebody who makes gowns for you all the yes, time. Yes. Okay. Albert Andrade. Okay. So we sinukat namin siya. Shempre dasal dasal kami kasi walang fitting doke. Eh. Thankfully, nagkasya siya and in practice ko lang yung gown sa hallway ng ng na, na, na hotel. Nang dakilang hallway na yan. Yeah, Dapat ilagay na nila yung pangalan mo doon. <laughs> Ganon. And then that's it. Um, actually, I remember during. During the night of the competition, dun ko palang sinuot yung blue na gown during rehearsals, and then the other girls were like, "Oh, you changed your gown." Alam niya. Nasabi ko, I did. Um, malapit na yung competition do. Wala pa rin ng costume. <laughs> ano ba yan? Malapit, malapit na. Wala pa rin. So <coughs> tinatanong oh. ko yung binibini. Ano? Um, ako ba yung kontak sa kanila? Kayo ba? No, kami kami. Tapos wala pa rin, wala pa rin. But so you I and said, Albert are close enough. You can call him Albert. Nasa yeah. costume po. Yeah. We didn't wanna go. Do anything oh, without the permission of Madam. Oh. So if there's no go signal, di kami gagalaw. E wala paring go signal. Mm. So in this case, pumunta na ako sa office ni Tito Albert. Sabi ko, Tito Albert, gawa ka na. Gawa ka na ng sketch, please. Naku, hindi pa tumatawag si Madam. Hindi natin po edi gawin yun. Takot siya. Oo. Oh. So sabi ko, hindi sigi na. Gawa ka lang ng sketch. Ako na ang magpapadala sa kanya. Mm. So sabi niya, oh sige. So gumawa siya ng sketch. Kinuha ko. Dinalaw kay Madam. Pina approve ko. Na approve. Binalik ko kay Tito Albert. Sabi ko sigi simulan mo na. So kung hindi ko pino push yung mga bagay, hindi siya mangyayare. Like yung costume, yung gown, yung pumili ng blue, yung mga pasabog shoots ko nun, yung mga test shoot lang na sumisingit ako sa shoot. Kung hindi ako magtetext sa photographer, sa mga makeup artist, sa mga magazine, baka wala. Ang wala ko magpo-post, wala ko magagawa. You really ano ha? One man. One, one man woman team. team. Yes, <laughs> kasi ngayon I see, I mean, it's a good thing because people as soon as you win Miss Philippines, you become Miss Philippines, lumalapit na sa yung mga tao automatic na yun. Actually, parang stressful pa nga kasi ang daming nag-o-offer and then you're trying to decide which one will be the best fit for you. But then at that time, you had to gather people around you and convince them that them taking a risk on you with their time and their money will not be a waste. And also, you also want to give back after you win. Kukunin mo rin sila ulit for work stuff, para oh. sa mga events, kanyan. Parang... You really, you, yeah. I can see it's all about energy and, yeah. and karma. And, mm. Diba? Yeah. I think also that's why you're so kind. And maybe yeah. that's why people are kind to you. So, eto na. Kailan dumating? May Filipiniana ka. Nanalo ka ba? Best in costume. So, sa Miss Universe, hindi. Ito ba yung year ng tuktok? So, yes! Like, is that yeah. year? Oh my God. It's the most amazing costume ever in yeah. Thailand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diba? Yeah. Nakatuktok siya. Mm. After that, everybody's doing kind of similar things. Yeah. Oh, anyway, so coronation night na. So, um, I that that costume needed one whole suitcase on its own because it was very heavy and very big as soon as pagpunta ko sa kwarto ko inilabas ko na siya at nilapag ko nang ganun oh sabi nila ni wo mo gawin niya may roommate ka baka sabutahin ganyan my roommate was the best she okay. was so nice actually one time doc i overslept i didn't hear my alarm she woke me up sabi oh, niya Uy. if you don't wake up Late minus ako. points na mm -hmm. oh Mm -mm. She woke me up and said, Tara na. And then, nung sinuot ko na siya doon, okay naman. Di ako nanalo ng best in costume, pero wala namang bearing sa points okay. or anything. So, may talent portion ba? Meron din do. Pero ano, buti may... na lang, hindi rin siya scored. Ah, hindi rin siya scored. Yes. Ano bang talent mo? Magpaandar. <laughs> Joke lang. Ay, di ko alam kung anong gagawin ko noon. Kung tinawag ako na... Siguro, if I knew that I had to do the talent and then I had to participate, Yeah. Four points. Mag Magre-rehearsal ako ng matindi. Mm. Magpapakoreograph ako ng mga sayaw, ganyan. Mm. Mga, yun Pero ang alam mo, not necessary. Not necessary. So I sat there and enjoyed watching everybody else do it. Uh, it's a volunteer basis. Yeah. So want to show off. Mm. And no points for... No points. It's, I think it's just for that award. And how was your interview naman, your feelings? Oh, I love the interview. Kasi may closed door interview do. Ganito mm. siya. Alphabetical order kayo. So ang kasa kasabay ko si Peru. So papasok kayo sa isang kwarto, dalawa kayo. You have a panel here and then a panel here. You're in the center. Back to back kayo. 
ng oh. other candidates. And then when you hear a bell, you approach the podium and then each judge will ask a question. Mm. Rapid fire siya. So, four minutes, as many as you can. Wow! Pero hindi naman paramihan, quality of answer. Oh. So, kung tatlo lang, pero pak yung sagot mo, okay lang din. Um, yun. And so, then after you hear the bell, four minutes is up, you s switch, and then you do the other side. Okay. As you're doing that, you kinda have to have presence of mind. Kasi sabay ka yung sumasagot, so naririnig mo yung sagot niya habang sumasagot oh, ka din. Weird. So oh. parang kailangan, focus ka lang talaga sa side mo, ganyan. I don't remember all of the questions asked, but there are two that I still remember. One was that, are you in favor of beauty queens who want to do, want to go under the knife to win Miss Universe? Mm. So I said, yes, I am in favor of mm. going under the knife if, it, if you think that it's for your confidence and it makes you look good and as long as you don't overdo it or that you look like a completely different person, if you're doing it for all the good reasons and if it's for yourself, then yes. Okay. Okay. Lang. And then one more question was that, how would you describe a beauty queen to like a seven-year-old boy. Tapos sabi ko, I would um, describe a beauty queen like a superhero. That there's a reason why we dress up like this. This is our costume, and we're out to save the world, basically. Yeah, cute. Parang ganon. Oh. So nila naruko yung mga answers because. So hindi ka na nervous, obviously. I love question and answer. Ah. Yeah, and I loved questions that were light mm. and casual because what happens when you're a beauty queen is you tend to answer every question seriously uh -huh. na parang para kang kandidato ganun <laughs> para kang politician na parang you don't know how to para uh, wala kang sense of humor joke yeah you don't joker to, ka talaga yes to. okay mm -hmm. oh, uh. so you don't know how to crack a joke you don't know when to play around with the answer so i love that may mga ganung questions because it shows more of your personality and then people know na ah oh, she can be serious she's gorgeous but she's also a friend or mm -hmm. she can be like us i enjoyed that part of the competition and i'm sure Celeste will also Ay, experience something like that. Let's pray for Celeste, please. Oh, and then after that, competition proper na. How do you prepare? Were you nervous? Super? I woke up so early that day, I think 4 a.m. for a 4 p.m. show. Our show was wow. a bit early because we had to adjust to the time zone of New, New York. York. It happened early. I remember na makeup na ako umaga pa lang and then I would just build. You're so, the one who had to do your own makeup. Yeah. Ngayon, pwede na may team. So, they do. When you're Hindi there, mag-isa ka lang talaga. So, this is another thing is that ayoko rin na masana yung mga candidates natin na inaayusan sila ng glam team dito because hindi mo naman sila madadala doon. You mm. gotta be able to do that quality mm. of look on your own when you're there. Pati blow dry, kahit do, lahat. Ang hirap no? mm -mm. Uh -huh. As in, uma so what I would, would do is I would shower the night before para in the morning, tuyo na yung hair ko, tapos isiset ko na lang. Uh -huh. Tapos habang nakaset, nagme-makeup ako, mm -hmm. bihis, tanggal ng rollers. Labas, ganun. Okay. I mean, it sounds easy when I explain it like that, but, but it takes you. It takes long? me two hours. two hours, one hour for makeup and one hour for hair. Yeah. On the day, actually, my sponsor naman na hair and makeup. At pwede kang pumila don, but there are only about twenty makeup and hairstylists and uh, eighty girls. So my pila ng countries yan unahan sa paglista. Pagod na rin. Baka you all look alike. That's one thing. Yeah. And what if you don't like what they do? So I, I, I actually saw girls na two nag hours before the show nagbubura oh, inulit no. nila kasi hindi nila nagusto yung makeup. Yeah. Uh, Naka stress yung ganun na dasalang ka na tapos uulitin mo pa ulit. So, I noticed that the Asians and the Latinas are usually independent when it comes to doing their oh. own glam because train. Competition started na and then it's also really nice to have friends because if you leave something behind in your room na kailangan mo for competition and ka na sa dressing room, pwede kayo mag switch. Uh -huh. So, that's what I would do. Like, you need tanning lotion, I have eyeliner. Palit, palit tayo ng mga <laughs> okay. oh, um, When it started na, I remember I didn't eat much because I wanted to look good in the swimsuit and that. But just before Q&A, kumuha ako sa buffet ng maraming cookies tapos kinain ko. Sugar! Oh, sugar para rush. paglabas ko dun, ang ganda ko kasi busog ako. <laughs> May glow! Iba yung glow ng nakakain mo lang. <laughs> nakakain mo lang and it's the food that you like, that you've been deprived of for so long, you don't have Tapos na rin naman yung swimsuit. And hindi ka lutang kasi Q&A, kailangan may presence of mind. So the sugar really helped because I was in a good mood. Busog ako and saya. 
did you feel at any point in time you were gonna win already? You felt your performance because it's got you na. But I'm very secure, huh? You know, this is a sport as far as I'm concerned. I could never do what you guys do. It's everything physical, mental, stress, yeah. diba? But she said I knew my performance was strong. I mm -hmm. knew. Yeah. She knew how she was going to win. Yeah. Did you have that feeling? Um, on the day, I was confident with everything that I did. I just remember during rehearsals, every time I would watch the crowning rehearsal, yung mm. pagdalawa na lang, tas isa yung mapipili, lagi ako naiiya. Whenever ah. I would watch rehearsals, kasi talagang niraramdam ko na ako yun. Okay. Na maaabot ako doon sa point na yun. I was confident with my performance, but syempre may kaba pa rin. Mm -hmm. May pa kaba pa rin ako doon. Kasi if you watch the videos again, you actually see my lips quivering. Wow. Even when I'm smiling, nanginginig siya. And you could see it in my face that I was a little in awe of everything. At laki ng mata ko, dilat na dilat. Parang <laughs> I was so nervous. I knew I had a good chance when I answered the final question. Mm -hmm. Because, so they give you headphones. Right. And then it's really true that you don't hear each other's answer when you have that on. So I was thinking, okay, I have no idea what the question is. I was the last one to be called. So ang ginagawa ko is I would just look at the audience and read their reaction. Binabasa ko lang yung reaction nila na, did they like her answer? Pagka medyo ganun lang, parang, ah, okay, medyo. <laughs> Tapos pag medyo malakas, ay, maganda yung sagot niya. So when it was my turn, sabi ko, okay, okay. Nobody tried to mouth the question to me. I would just read the reaction. And from there, nalalaman ko kung may chance pa ba ako. Sabi ko, wala, wala pang nagwawala. Kasi usually, Doc, pagka may sobrang gandang sagot, napapatayo yung mga tao. Oh, eh. okay. Oh. Wala pang tumatayo. So sabi ko, may pag ako naman. <laughs> <laughs> um, buti na lang. I already had that answer in mind. Oh, you had the question in mind? No. Or you, you made the answer fit the question? I prepared the answer for that question. Because oh. that question could have been, why do you deserve to win? Why should you be Miss Universe? What makes you different from all the other candidates? Lahat yun pwedeng gamit. Yung sagot ko yeah, pwedeng exactly. ipasok. Lahat na yun mm. eh. So, of course, it's a common question that's asked during interview. So, why should you be Miss Universe? Okay. So, dapat alam mo na kung ano yung sasabihin mo oh. doon. So, I already had that. You had this confidence and confidence Yeah, I, I, I had it written down already. Oh. If that was the question asked, ito yung sasabihin ko. So, in that part, yung iconic line na yun. I want to show the world the universe rather, that I am confidently beautiful with a heart. Thank you. Oh, Nahanda ma, ako na yun. Pwede mo gamitin ang belo yun or naka-IP siya? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naka-IP yun, dog! <laughs> Maybe oh. I should, dog. Oh, anyway. anyway. So when I answered that, I saw the reaction of the audience and then I was like, Okay. Sa akin sila they pinaka- stood They stood up. up. Yeah, wow. like they really like like that answer. And then, nung bumalik na ako backstage, waiting for commercial break, silip lang ako ng silip sa kortina, sa mm -hmm. labas, sa parang, ano na nangyayari? Ito na ba yun? Ako na ba to? Tapos, I remember just praying to my lola, mm -hmm. who passed away already, and my dad, who also passed away already, and thinking, are you here tonight? Because I really need you right now. Like, Aww. I really need you to make a miracle for me and make all of this make sense. Aww. So, I was just praying to them. I don't know why, but sila yung nasa isip ko nung time na yun, na parang, guide me. I like I know you're here. Guide me. I want to know my destiny. And then I thought, "Chaka maganda naman yung sagot ko eh." <laughs> <laughs> okay na to. Oh. Ganyan. So, when we did that walk with Seal, I don't know if you remember that meron pang final look. So, before they announce yeah, the winners, yeah. kakanta sings. muna si yeah, si Seal kumakanta. Oh, Seal at least big Seal, time. Seal, yeah. Oh. Yung part na in enjoy ko na lang because I knew at that time May winner na. So there's nothing else I could do but just enjoy this walk. Pero magkamali pala ako dun doka kasi I became a judge a few years later mm. and every part of the competition pala Meron was score. Pa Oo, kahit yung final look. Ah. Oo, so akala mo tapos na yung Q&A. Meron pa rin pala yun. So anyway, I just enjoyed that moment. And then, nung tawagan na, grabe, syempre sobrang kinakabahan na ako noon. Tapos nung dalawa na lang kami ni Colombia, parang ilahat nung na-imagine ko nung rehearsals, parang anong nangyayari na nandito na ako, nasa gitna na ako. Like, it was somehow, it was also a blur. Like, it's vivid in my mind, but also a blur at the same time. And then, as I was walking back, nung natawag akong first runner-up, I just kept thinking of Janine Tugono. How Tugon did you feel? Sabi ko, Dok, sa isip ko, siguro naman, pagbalik ko ng Pilipinas, may project naman ako, no, after nito. <laughs> Kasi, you were super disappointed. At have that come moment, so close, yet so far. At that moment, not so much. I think I was still in shock or in the adrenaline. Siguro, if that really was my destiny, 
and then I went back to the room. Siguro dun, I'm really hard on myself, dog. So, dun, ma, dun, dun ko siya ma feel. Yeah. But I love it's your reaction. Not... What happened? Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. But when they announced her, didn't you find it weird? Na walang balloons, walang anything? I, um, I found it weird that she wasn't doing the walk. Because uh -huh. you're supposed to walk and wave. Was right she trying away. to do it? Did they stop her? What they, you, usually you're cued when to do it. Okay. So then there was no cue. We sat there for a while. And then I remember one of the cameras coming back. Mm. Tapos naka red na light. Ibig sabihin nun naka focus naka sa focus sa At naka oh. ikaw ang record ngayon. Oh. Pero nakapatay naman yung ilaw sa likod. Sa amin, I mean, mas naka focus siya sa harap. Sabi ko, what nandito to? <coughs> Tapos nakikita ko bumabalik na si Steve. Tapos sinabi nga niya na, na, na parang there was a mistake. Pero hindi pa niya sinasabi na Philippines. Tapos bumubulong na sa akin si Olivia Jordan, which was Miss USA. Katabi ko siya at that time. I think it's you. Pero ayokong mag-celebrate kasi paano kung reverse order pala? Tapos first runner-up pa rin pala talaga ako, pero siya yung winner. Ganon. Aww. And I'm a big fan of Miss Universe. I watch it every year. Even the past 90s mga Miss Universe. They've never made a mistake like that. So it never crossed my mind that something like that would happen. Yeah, that was really so. But that's a wonderful way to win, Eddie. Right? And so when I mean, they announced you, but you were so hesitant to come forward. It, I felt so bad for her. Yeah. yeah How I, does that it's feel? So it's so weird. horrible. It can't go into full celebratory mode when parang masaya ka pero may isa naman na napahiya, na heartbroken. Yeah, like if I gave years in this, she did. Mm -hmm. She also put years in that. So And then to bring you so high up and then yeah. bag, uh -huh. right? Like, just trying to imagine what it would have been like if the roles were reversed and that happened to me. We would also be really hurt. So, was she mad at you? I don't know if she was or I mean, she is. Of course, she shouldn't be, but I guess you can. They're very passionate. Yeah. Oh, they were, oh. And me. they were going for a back-to-back -back win that year. It was very awkward and sad. Did she give her crown to you? Probably had to take it. From her um, the uh, Paulina Vega, the winner from the one who passed her crown, came mm. back out, and mm. then she's the one who did the transfer. So she didn't voluntarily give it anyway. So it seems so clear, but I wish you could have more time to interview. Can we have more interviews? Yeah, so, of course. Ang haba ng nito. I'm so sorry. Madal dal talaga. No, I love it, and I'm sure even if it's mahaba, I'm so riveted. Parang enjoy na enjoy ako. I'm sure na feel nyo yon. And you have a facial Thank you so much for Thank guessing you. on my YouTube. Yeah. And please don't forget to follow, subscribe, and whatever. And remember, she's with Bello now! Yay! Yay!